The black mamba and the inland taipan are very deadly snakes. The black mamba lives in Africa and is the longest and fastest venomous snake. It has a black mouth that it opens when scared. The inland taipan lives in Australia and is the most venomous land snake. It changes its skin color with the seasons to stay warm or cool. Both snakes are good at living in their environment, but humans and nature can harm them. You're watching Critter Gospel. In today's video, we'll do a comparison between two fearsome snakes, Black Mamba and Inland Taipan, through 17 fascinating facts that highlight the similarities and differences between these two amazing snakes. So watch this video till the end and do not forget to subscribe. Let's begin. Number 1. The Black Mamba can grow up to 4.4 meters in length, while the Inland Taipan can grow up to 2.5 meters. Number 2. The Black Mamba can move at speeds of up to 20 km per hour, making it the fastest snake in the world. The Inland Taipan is slower, but still agile and quick. Number 3. The Black Mamba is considered the most aggressive snake in the world, as it often attacks without provocation and guards its territory fiercely. The Inland Taipan is more docile and shy, and usually retreats when approached. Number 4. The Black Mamba has a neurotoxic venom that is the most rapid acting of any snake species. It can kill a person in 30 minutes if left untreated. The Inland Taipan has a mixed venom that contains neurotoxins, hemotoxins, and myotoxins. It can kill a person in 45 minutes if left untreated. Number 5. The Black Mamba delivers an average of 100 to 120 mg of venom per bite which is enough to kill 20 to 40 grown men. The Inland Taipan delivers an average of 44 mg of venom per bite, which is enough to kill 100 grown men. Number 6. The Black Mamba has fangs that are 6.5 to 7.5 mm long, which are among the longest of any snake. The Inland Taipan has fangs that are 3.5 to 6.2 mm long, which are shorter but still effective. Number 7. The Black Mamba has a yellowish green to gunmetal grey color, which helps it camouflage in its habitat. On the other hand, the Inland Taipan has a dark tan to brown color, which also helps it blend in with its surroundings. Number 8. The Black Mamba prefers moderately dry environments, such as woodlands, savannas, and rocky outcrops. On the other hand, the Inland Taipan prefers semi-arid regions, such as deserts, grasslands, and scrublands. Number 9. The black mamba feeds on rodents, birds, bats, and other snakes, including the venomous puff adder and cape cobra. The inland taipan feeds mainly on rodents and small mammals such as rats, mice, and bandicoots. Number 10. The black mamba lays 10 to 25 eggs, which hatch after 80 to 90 days. And the inland taipan lays 12 to 24 eggs, which hatch after 60 days. Number 11. The black mamba has a lifespan of about 11 years in the wild, and the inland taipan has a lifespan of about 10 to 15 years in the wild. Number 12. The black mamba is listed as least concerned by the IUCN red list, as it has a wide distribution and no major threats. On the other hand, the inland taipan is listed as endangered by the IUCN red list, as it has a restricted range and faces habitat loss and degradation. Number 13. The Black Mamba is feared and respected by many African cultures and is often associated with death, evil, and witchcraft. And the Inland Taipan is known as the fierce snake by the Aboriginal people and is regarded as a sacred and powerful animal. Number 14. The Black Mamba has been featured in many movies, books, and documentaries such as Kill Bill, Snacks on Plane, and Black Mamba, Kiss of Death. The Inland Taipan has been less popular in media, but has appeared in some shows such as Deadly 60s, Oshia's Big Adventures, and The Most Extreme. Number 15. The Black Mamba has a unique way of drinking water by sucking it up through its mouth and then swallowing it with a jerk of its head. And the Inland Taipan has more conventional ways of drinking water by lapping it up with its tongue. Number 16. The black mamba has a high metabolism and needs to eat frequently, sometimes up to four times a week. On the other side, the inland taipan has a low metabolism and can go for months without eating, sometimes up to a year. And number 17.
The black mamba is one of the few snakes that can rise a third of its body off the ground, which gives it a better view of its surroundings and potential threats. On the other side, the inland taipan is one of the few snakes that can change its venom compositions according to the prey, which makes it more efficient and adaptable. So viewers, that's all for today. I hope you have enjoyed this video and find this comparison interesting and informative. If you have any questions or comments, please let me know. And subscribe our channel for more this kind of content. I'll see you in my next video. Till that, take care, love you, goodbye.